If he has spoken to you about this person, it means that he is willing to help you reach the person. All you have to do is ask him in prayer. God will listen to you and hear your cry concerning the person. Tell him everything and how your supposed spouse is finding it hard to believe that the two of you are meant to be together. Your determination and perseverance in the place of prayer can move God to perform miracles for your sake. It's not about how long you take to pray, but the honesty in your prayers. There is nothing you cannot pray about. When you communicate with God freely and talk to Him about all that's going on, He is there to hold you up, never let you go and fulfill your desires. He has said in His word that we should ask of Him and it shall be given to us. So just ask Him and He will do it. Your answer is all ready in your asking. There is nothing God cannot do as you are willing to invite His help. You cannot do it on your own. This is where the Spirit of God has a place in working this type of situation out. God said in the Word that He would give a heart of flesh to the one with a stony heart. Though He was referring to the Israelites at that time, you need that same miracle with your kingdom's supposed spouse to pray towards that area. When you call on God for help, always know that all things are possible. God works in mysterious ways and will have His way of making the heart of this person turn to that of flesh. He can all by Himself touch the person's heart. God did the same thing to King Pharaoh when he wanted to rescue the people from Israel from the Egyptians. He made Pharaoh let the Israelites escape by softening his heart when Moses came to plead with him. He can soften the person's heart by making him see the wonderful side of you. Some people just need others to lead them and show them what they are missing before they realize the mistake they have made. God would remove all distractions, disbelief and stubbornness from that person just so that you can have your happily ever after. God made Pharaoh an enemy of the Israelites and grant them a favor. If God can do that to Pharaoh, then he can do it for his spouse. It is not his will that the heart of his child is so hard, so he would want to turn it to soften. He would want them to see who they are meant to truly be with and also reveal to them the reasons for that. God will encourage them with the reason he decided to pair the two of you up to become one. God is not a man that makes mistakes. This season shall pass and everything shall work in your favor. No matter how sluggish or stubborn a person can be, God has his way of showing mercy so that you can get your wish granted and would amend things for your sake. You don't have to be weary about the situation. God will open the eyes and hearts of the person. Now the person would stop looking for how you look on the outside, but your look on the inside would matter because a person is judged by their hearts and not their appearances. God loves you too much to leave you alone in this situation and would make sure that your spouse opens up to you or at least gives you a chance to prove who you are to him or her. He has the best for you in mind. Though the situation might be looking rough now, God is training you to become a better person. Every situation is designed and orchestrated by heaven, so just keep believing and have hope that there would soon be a change. God could decide to soften the heart and open the eyes of your partner through different means, one of which is that he makes people that your spouse trusts so much, maybe those close to him convince them otherwise. God uses their loved ones as a way of letting your spouse see the wonderful and good thing it will end up with their heavenly orchestrated spouse. With that, they will tell the person the truth and you follow this hard verse. If it's not through a loved one, God could reveal his will through his word. Everything in the life of man is in the word of God and whatever kind of confirmation that they may need, God will make available to the person. God can also change the hardened heart of your spouse to a soft one through dreams and visions. When Mary, the mother of Jesus, was pregnant, Joseph had turned away and was planning to abandon her because she was pregnant, but an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and explained it all to Joseph. God will work it out for you. 
Just keep trusting him and keep your focus on the one that he has revealed to you as your spouse. Just because of the situation does not mean that you should go against what the Lord has confirmed for you. God does not let you go through what you cannot handle, so that means you can handle the situation and all to get over it. In the end, it shall all end in joy, because it's God's will. In the place of prayer, you have to also be patient. You have to be patient in this time with both God and man. In case God does not answer immediately as you would have wished, then be patient. The answers to your prayer will come right on time, and it would neither be too late nor too early. Your time is different from that of God. Just wait on the Lord on the matter, and He would bring your wishes to pass. The reason your kingdom supposed spouse is acting this way may be because of an experience. These past experiences could have influenced the principles that your spouse has so much laid out for the person they're going to get married to. It's possible that under their mask, they can be a very soft heart that has been hardened by continuous disappointments and heartbreaks from people. Because of all those that happened, they have decided to put a wall over their heart to protect themselves from getting hurt again. They might just be finding it hard to open up, and that is why you have to warm up to them and get close for them to be free of all their insecurities and properly have a relationship. In this way, God uses you to make your spouse see you as a very valuable person. The person is no longer just someone that God communicated to the person for marriage, but you are now a friend and you are starting to get familiar with each other. This would make it easier for his or her heart and eyes to open up to you. There is nothing impossible for God to do. This is the number one thing that you should believe or even dare to believe in every aspect of your life, especially in situations like this. Humans can be very frustrating and difficult to change. No one can change through their effort and strength. It will take more than convincing a person to change their mind concerning you. It takes more than behavior modification to make someone align with the will of God. That is why it is our God that can change our hearts and open the eyes of the person to see that they are your soulmate. God is called the Father of Spirits, so He's the only one that changes the spirit of heart of a person. When you try to change a person's heart by force and try to get them to love what they do not want to love, that is called witchcraft, and that is a great sin before God. God will soften and open the eyes and turn the heart of your kingdom's supposed spouse. One way to deal with a person with a hardened heart and closed eyes is to pray.